Allah tells us that devils are not only the unobservable ones, but that some human beings are devils in their own right as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍّ عَدُوًّا شَيَاطِينَ الْإِنسِ وَالْجِنِّ And so we have appointed for every prophet enemies, devils among mankind and jinn. Allah Almighty also said in reference to the devils, مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ وَالنَّاسِ They are of jinn and of men. However, we should be more wary of the human devils than those of the jinn because they can be far more wicked even though many Muslims tremble at the thought of jinns and indeed no campfire is complete without a good jinn story when a devil from the jinn whispers their protection is simply to remember the name of Allah at once the jinn will withdraw humiliated and disgraced the matter however is altogether different for the devils of mankind if the whole Quran was to be recited upon them they may not cease in their wickedness whisperings or evil influence Omar's honor therefore of having both categories of devils fear him presents as even more impressive.